the supervolcano at Yellowstone has grabbed the attention of not only scientists but the public. This is mainly because if it did erupt it would have a massive effect on the planet. At over 3,400 square miles, Yellowstone is larger than the state of Rhode Island and Delaware combined. Although Yellowstone is not the largest national park in the US, it's perhaps best known for sitting on top of a supervolcano. This system is still considered active and contains a reservoir of magma big enough to fill the Grand Canyon several times over. Over the past two years, this supervolcano has been shown scientists that it's still active. Recently, a park official has come forward and said that a thermal spring near Old Faithful has erupted for the fourth time in the last 60 years. This particular spring went from being dormant to spewing steam and water between 20 and 30 feet high. Something interesting to note is that this height has not been recorded since 1957. Not only this, but researchers working at the park have said that new erupting vents and surface fractures have started opening. They've even had to close a boardwalk in the popular upper basin. Scientists warned that last year two of the three warning signs that there was going to be an eruption was picked up on. These warning signs included seismic activity increasing, and an increase of gas outlet at the surface. Recently, scientists have said that over 50 seismic trackers around Yellowstone's biggest lake have picked up tremors. This news was released due to a study that was carried out at Yellowstone. Seismologists working at Yellowstone are doing more tests to see how it's affected the national park. Another recent study has also shown researchers that the Yellowstone volcano is sitting on top of a hotspot. This means that every so often magma starts to rise to the surface. Rather worryingly, scientists have said that should an earthquake occur, it could take less than two weeks before a catastrophic reaction is triggered. So what would happen if this supervolcano did erupt? In less than 24 hours, enough magma would be released to fill up the Grand Canyon several times over. The ash, however, would be the biggest worry. Wind-flung ash would be devastating for the United States. The fallout would include short-term destruction of Midwest agriculture, and rivers and streams would be clogged by grey mark. Swarms of earthquakes would be triggered all around the world, each having their own effect on the nearby areas. At this point, ash would still be entering our atmosphere. These temperatures would easily reach over 1,000 degrees. This ash would affect people worldwide. If you was to breathe it in, it would lacerate your lungs and form a glassy cement. Roads would break down and millions of homes would be destroyed. It's safe to say if the supervolcano ever erupted, the effects they would have on our planet would be massive. However, for now, scientists are keeping a close eye on the national park. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.